It's wonderfully done. Founded in 1963 through the consolidation of Unitarian and Universalist women's organizations, the UU Women's Federation has evolved as an education advocacy and funding organization with a vital mission to advance justice for women and girls and promote their spiritual growth. The UUWF is one of two associate member organizations of the UUA along with the UUSC. Please welcome UU, UUWF President Justice Wade Nurse Smith. Good morning. The UU Women's Federation affirms the inherent value of every woman, defined inclusively as one who identifies as a woman, trans woman, or gender queer woman. We affirm the importance of women's voices in our religious movement. We pledge action against the religious roots of sexism. We pledge to support the diversity of religious feminisms. We work to raise consciousness of the linked nature of oppressions, and we seek justice for all women in the struggle to transform institutions of oppression. Thank you. We think it's a great mission. Now more than ever, this mission is imperative. We have not conquered sexism in our society or our denomination and our work reflects our resistance to injustice as well as the celebrations that we collectively take, big and small, as we move forward. We resist, we rejoice, we persist. Our board of directors is comprised of passionate volunteers from across the country who are committed to gender justice and intersectionality. At this General Assembly, we are welcoming our newest board member, Marissa Gutierrez Vicario, currently residing in Brooklyn, and the founder of Art and Resistance Through Education, or ARTE, a nonprofit that engages young people to organize around human rights via art. Marissa has been involved with UU Justice Work since she was 15, and we are very excited to have her joining our team. Absolutely. This is an incredibly big year for women in Unitarian Universalism. Forty years ago today, at General Assembly in Ithaca, New York, the Women and Religion Resolution was passed, which calls on the UUA to examine the religious roots of sexism and to address justice for women. As we mark this historic anniversary, we acknowledge the great progress that has been made and we commit ourselves to continued work. In honor of this anniversary, I am excited to announce that the UU Women's Federation and UU Women and Religion are exploring uniting in a much more formal partnership to strengthen our mutual quest toward gender equity as we head into the next 40 years serving you and Unitarian Universalism. Also, in honor of this anniversary, we created a new sermon award on justice for women and girls, which we awarded to the incredible Erin J. Walter for her sermon from Eve to Hillary. <laughs> Yesterday, we sponsored the program in which Ms. Walter shared her sermon exploring the silencing of women's voices from Eve to Hillary to all of us. She was joined by two incredibly brilliant respondents, the Reverend Teresa Inasoto and Chris Crass, who engaged the audience in a lively discussion about actions we can all take to heal from sexism and misogyny and create justice for women and girls. We also are proud to have recently awarded a Marjorie Bowens Wheatley Scholarship designed to provide direct financial support to aspirants or candidates to the UU ministry 
or candidates in the UUA's religious education or music leadership programs who identify as women of color, Latina, or Hispanic. Our most recent awardee, Aisha Ansano, shared how her multiracial, multinational, and multi-ethnic identity has helped her to see herself as bro both a bridge builder and leader within Unitarian Universalism. We are so pleased to support Aisha on her path to ministry. In response to concerns raised about exclusion in the hiring of the UUA, the UU Women's Federation issued a statement that articulates our commitment to being an active part of the work to address racism and white supremacy within UUism. In it, we state, all white Unitarian Universalists must know that we have benefited from first the outright subjugation of people of color and now the less obvious but no less painful pushing away, passing over, over because you don't fit with the team. Therefore, as the UU Women's Federation is committed to justice for women and girls and is an organization that recognizes that white supremacy and patriarchy are deeply intertwined, we support the call to deepen our understanding and hold up a mirror to ourselves and our institutions. We further commit to being an active part of the solution as Unitarian Universalism continues the journey of becoming a fully inclusive and equitable faith community. This is a moral imperative. An additional advocacy, specifically in response to a call for faith organizations to respond to the GOP health care bill, that would repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, we crafted a response statement. This legislation, which would harm millions of Americans, would be especially disastrous for women, endangering not only basic health care services, but especially access to reproductive health care. Our statement read, as Unitarian Universalists committed to gender equity, we believe in justice, dignity, and compassion for all and that universal access to affordable and comprehensive health care is also a moral imperative. This is a, an historic General Assembly, as was the one 40 years ago, as we have had the opportunity to welcome the first woman serving as a president of the Unitarian Universalist Association and the brilliant and talented Reverend Sophia Bentoncourt. In addition, at this very gathering, we will be selecting the first elected female president of the Unitarian Universalist Association. We are very pleased to have three incredibly talented, dedicated women running to serve. To that end, another way we sought to support our mission was to ensure that gender justice was part of the presidential campaign. As in past elections, the UU Women's Federation interviewed the candidates for UUA president. To read the individual responses to our questions about gender equity and justice, both within the UUA and society at large, please visit our website. After ensuring that concerns about diversity and intersectionality were addressed, we were very proud to be an early partner organization for the Women's March in Washington, D.C. On January 21st, UUs all over the country and world marched for women. Please give a shout out if you were among those who marched that day. Mm. Gave me chills. 
We pledged support and financial resources to this march because we believe in their mission that women's rights are human rights, human rights are women's rights. We have intersecting identities that are impacted by a multitude of social justice issues. Therefore, no woman is free until all people are free. We also have signed the Women's March Pledge for Liberation, calling for the end to sexual violence, state violence, and police violence, securing reproductive rights, the LGBTQIA rights, workers' rights, disability rights, and immigrant rights, and working for environmental and economic justice and the end to war. In addition to the march, we have continued our commitment to active partnerships with groups working on the full range of gender justice issues. Partner organizations include Sister Song, the National Employment Law Project, Families USA, Planned Parenthood, the ACLU, and many others. We have co-signed numerous petitions and letters and been part of advocacy ads. We post regularly these actions and report to our members through our social media, including a blog authored by our affiliated minister, the talented Reverend Marty Keller, who brings more than 30 years experience in public witness and advocacy to gender and justice work. Another partnership of which we have been proud is between Standing on the Side of Love and the UUWF, when we partnered to provide support for Black Lives Matter leaders who are also identified as women caregivers. Standing on the side of Love staff, we're part of strategy conversations with leaders of Black Lives Matter who raised how family costs are creating a burden for women to stay in the movement. The UU Women's Federation provided $10,000 to fund 10 women with $1,000 each to help offset dependent care and seek to allow them to remain doing the critical work they do. These are just a few of the numerous recent highlights of our work. The UU Women's Federation seeks to amplify the voices in the Unitarian Universalist movement and the voices of UU women throughout our country. We also seek to honor the men and those of all genders committed to gender equity as well. We are committed to engaging all UUs in this work for gender justice. For more information, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and see our website. In closing, we invite you to join us on the quest for gender justice. And as the General Assembly did 40 years ago today with the unanimous passage of the Women and Religion Resolution, we are excited to be part of history as it is made tomorrow when we choose the first elected woman UUA president. Please know how much we appreciate with you on joining us in this journey. Onward, friends. Thank you.